Fishtank people, FishtankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a rainy Sunday. Yeah, baby, it's species sunny, raining outside, but it's sunny in here because I'm in the greenhouse and Brian got me all cleaned up the other day and I'm excited about it. Really, really pumped about it. And I'm pumped to finally bring you a species Sunday. Every now and then I get a plant that just totally reinvigorates me and just gets my juices flowing. Some of you guys that are on the Facebook fan page, Dustin's Fish Tanks on Facebook, I answer questions there. I posted a picture of me licking this plant last night. I absolutely love it. So today I want to talk about a species. I want to talk about crypts. Can a white dude from Ohio make the crypt? Is that even right? Crypt sign? I don't know. I'm not trying to offend anybody. But uh, crypts, baby, crypts. Niels Jakobsen was at the Aquatic Gardeners Convention and spoke for like three hours about nothing but crypts and where they're from. Sri Lanka, uh, India, Malaysia, Thailand, all over Asia, okay? And he said that they're a taxonomous nightmare because they interbreed with each other. There's some really nerdy humor going on there because they can like hybridize with each other. Um, there's a cryptocurrine society, cryptocurrine, cryptocurrine, I don't know how you say it, I don't really care, you get it, crypts. Um, so yeah, the crypts we're rolling with today, I'm real pumped about. I'm going to show you four species, I'm going to keep it high level. There's a bunch of different species of crypts, some like 60 of them, I think like 30 of them in the hobby, I'm, I'm winging there. Uh, the name I thought was pretty cool, crypto means hidden, and then carine in Latin means stick, so it's like the hidden stick. They got this little spate that comes up, a little like tube, little trumpet thing um, that comes up, and that's how they um, reproduce, and they got that up, and that's actually the only way you can uh, identify specifically what it is when they show their little spate, their like, tube or stick or whatever it is. I've never had them do that. you got to grow them um, um, immersed to do that, and that's something I'd like to try out here. But, you know, whatever. We'll get to it someday. So let me show you some crypts. Crips. Let's start over here and we'll work our way to the big bad boy we just got. This is Cryptocorini Ventii, Venti, however you want to say it. And it doesn't like that it's in 50 degrees cold here in the greenhouse, so I'm going to throw it back in a tank here real soon. If I were to pick one of the crypts that a beginner would start with, I would roll with this one. Um, very ad adaptable, likes a slightly lower pH, but uh, pretty hardy crypt here. Um, crypts in general though I will say are actually like one of the latter the last plants you want to add to your tank because they're so sensitive um, They're often a thing with crip melt. So you're definitely going to want to watch that crip melt actually comes from one of two things By the way, it comes from either um, They've been grown uh, Immersed then you submerge them which happens to a ton of plants people don't even know what's going on um, Or they just uh, adapting to temperatures that happens or, or adapting to like different tank conditions, but uh, it happens don't worry about it, they will come back there. Heavy root feeders too. Great roots on here. I want to talk about another one, Crip Valense. Um, real tall, skinny Crip, love it. Uh, great roots, available on Aquatic Jungles. I'm gonna put a link below so y'all can check it out. Um, another one I just got that got me jacked, but not as jacked as the next one. This is Crypta Blasii. I don't really know a whole lot about this species. I love the red on it, um, pretty trick. Uh, you know, again, heavy root feeder down here. I I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on this plant. But uh, it's done real well. I actually didn't melt. I put it in my 125. Didn't melt. Uh, the balance, they didn't melt either. And then this bad boy. Look at this sucker. This is a Sharpie pen to give you a little bit of scale, folks. This is Crypt Usteriana. Okay, look at this bad boy. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? Like, huge, big old leaves. Like, loving it, red underneath, big root structure, new growth. Absolutely, really, really, really excited about this crypt. Um, I really don't know much about it. It was one of the plants I was like, yo, I'm getting it, I'm trying it, I'm rolling with it. So, uh, those are some of the crypts. I'd like to hear what you know about crypts. Like I said, the last plant to add, oh, try Crypt Spiralis and Wentii. I talked about Wentii, I don't know if I talked about Spiralis. I can't find it of late, so if you get your hands on some Spiralis, it goes all over your tank in just random spots, but it's a very good crypt you're definitely going to want to check out. Um, check out Aquatic Jungles. Obviously, I've got all these, uh, well, three of the four for sale. I'm trying to get more crypts in here. I've also got uh, three different species of sag, which are outside the scope of this video, and four different species of Anubius roll, and I've also got some Lobelia cardinalis I'm going to put up on the site, which is pretty trick. Uh, a, a couple house cleaning notes, and I'm going to throw these bad boys in while I do it. Um, I've gotten a lot of help from, like, probably seven different creative types here uh, with the whole Fish Tank TV, Dustin's Fish Tank stuff, like, 
people from all over the world have been helping me with design. Canada, uh, my man Vitaly in Kiev, my other man over in uh, London, people in Canada, if I just said that or not. But, um, and what I'm asking is this, uh, I know I, I want to get a, I finally want to get an intro, to be honest. I want to do a little Fish Tank TV, Dustin's Fish Tank's little intro thing. And uh, I want somebody that watches my videos to do it. And we can uh, work something out, message me, because I want somebody that like knows my style and is into it. I don't just want to be like, yo, I'm a brand and I, like they don't know anything about me, you know? So, uh, if anyone could help me out with that or we could like talk, shoot me a message, hit me up. The Facebook fan page thing probably is a quick way to go, because like, quick way to go, because I can get the, uh, the message pretty quick, the YouTube stuff. I can't, uh, the YouTube's messaging sucks. The YouTube internal uh, like dialogue, like if you send me a private message, I can't read our last thing, so people are like having this conversation and I read so many emails, I don't even know which way's up. So uh, hit me up through the Facebook thing or hit me up on Aquatic Jungles and we'll check it out. But Brian came over here and cleaned up the tanks. Um, we got our Sag over here, Rotel over here. This is the Sagittaria chinensis up here. I call it giant Sag on the side. This is a pretty dope little plant right here though. Um, real sexy, and then I got regular Sag, and then I got Tall Sag. Oh yeah, I like me some Tall Sag. I've been really digging the Tall Sag recently. So, and then I got the Crips over here. Now Crips don't like to be moved, and I got them floated here. I'm actually gonna throw them down in my uh, probably a couple of these in the 220. I think they're gonna be. Well, I know I know they're going in the 220, so I don't know how many of them I'm gonna actually have for sale because I really like them. But that's what's up. And then this girl right here, she's been chasing around my dude in there. I don't know where the Emerald Rainbow went. He was in there this morning, but I gotta give Brian some credit. Dude came around, cleaned up all my tanks, put some dividers in it. So I just really had a blast. It was super, super nice yesterday. Over here, got some Indian Red Swords rolling. Um, some big old barter eye. Having fun with that. Some Java Fern. I got Rikia in as well. So, uh, you know, it's been good. It's been a rainy day. I haven't been out here much today, but yesterday we were out here all day. It was beautiful. I actually had the vents open. So, uh, some of that Anubius action I was talking about. So yeah, that's what's up. I'm having a lot of good, lot of good times, a lot of fun. As always, out in the greenhouse screaming while my wife puts the kids to bed. I put one of them to bed. So yeah, get yourself some crips, folks, and let me know what you think about crips. Later.